Hello, my friends. We are about to start our Drive Live Instagram workout. I'm just getting my camera set up here. Hope to see some people joining in. All right, we got some of our friends here for a workout. That's awesome. We've been doing these for a little while now, and I think they've been going really well. It's just super good to get moving. All right, we got lots of my New York friends, my fencing friends. Nice, Sophia. So today, guys, we're doing a body weight circuit. You know, without having our gyms and stuff like that, it um, it is different, right? Like, it doesn't always feel the same when you don't have that gym space and whatnot. So what's really been important to me is I've set up my gym space, right? So I got my yoga mat, I got my bands, my kettlebells, my bed balls. Um, hey, <laughs> and uh, it's it's made a big difference to have that space set up, but also to have like scheduled stuff. Um, so I tried to create a routine where I get up and I do my workout in the morning and then another one in the afternoon. Um, some days I do only one, some days I do both, um, but just having that routine has made a huge difference for me. Um, and uh, I, we've been actually doing a lot of online stuff through drive now too and everyone who's been doing it has been feeling really happy about it like i know before i started doing these things before i started doing my uh, workouts with my team my canadian team um i wasn't super motivated and then as soon as i joined in i was like of course this makes sense like we have to be able to connect at a time like this and we need accountability and motivation all the people that i've been working with are just like happy to have someone there that was like okay get off your chair you know so we're gonna get started with the workout in a moment um just to introduce myself i'm kelly ryan i'm a trainer at drive uh, i've been working there for just over a year now and uh, i'm also a competitive fencer i'm on the canadian fencing team actually i have one of my weapons here i'll show you right now do, do, do. Uh, so I'm on the Canadian fencing team. We actually just qualified for Tokyo just before the pandemic hit. So that was um, really good luck on our part. Um, so anyway, um, I'm just going to get my board ready. So like I said, um, we're going to be doing a body weight circuit today. Um, we're gonna the way that's gonna work is I'm gonna do a little demo and then um, we're gonna do all the exercises together don't worry if you fall behind or if you get ahead you can do some water or make up your own exercises to do in the meantime um, and please message me if you have any questions or anything like that the reason why we're getting you guys moving today is because working out just makes you feel better it's good for your joints to get them moving it's good for your muscles to get the blood flowing there so and you're also gonna get those endorphins, right? I promise you after this workout, you're gonna be sweating and you're gonna be feeling better. Um, if you guys are interested in doing these things on a regular basis or an individual one so we can give you more feedback, highly recommended. Um, you can reach out to kim.nunez at driveclubs.com and she'll set you up with one of our great trainers. It may be me, it may be somebody else. Um, we all work with a variety of different clients. Myself, I work with a lot of fencers and um, also uh, like a lot of general fitness or like weekend warriors type people. All right, so. Um, let's get you guys moving. This is your workout. I'm going to get you motivated today. I'm giving you a little accountability. You're going to get off your butt and get moving. Um, and we're going to have some structure, obviously. Uh, yes, Adam, the Canadian, joining in. Awesome. So, oh, Jorge, good. We've got a lot of people here today. That's awesome. So, first thing you guys are going to do, you're going to just going to do some ankle circles. This is your exercise you're going to do while you watch me. By the way, if you ever feel like you can't see very well, you can actually just tap the comments down. I've learned that since my first Instagram live workout. Um, so keep doing those ankle circles. You can do about 10 per side and um, then switch. I'm just gonna demo our first set of exercises. One, you're gonna go wide stance, wider than your yoga mat. We're gonna do two toe touches on each side and then we're gonna walk out to a plank. This you'll hold for five seconds, and then we're gonna do two reaches on each side. You're gonna do that a total of three times. 
Okay, don't worry, I'll walk you through this. You don't have to memorize everything, but I do wanna give you demos before you do it. You guys aren't doing that yet, you're doing your ankle circles right now. The next thing we're gonna do is a lateral squat. So you can do this, you're gonna stay wide basically. You're gonna bend one knee, come up, and then bend the other one. We're gonna do that eight times, okay? And then your third one is gonna be a glute march. Hopefully you'll be able to see me again. If you can't see me, you can pop, push the comments down. I wore these bright pants so you can see me a little better. We're gonna go glute marching like this. And the progression as you get better at this one is you could do switches. All right, and that's five per side. So you can stop with your ankle circles. Let's all go in a wide stance, wider than the mat. We are getting mobile and we're waking up that core. Our shoulders are gonna feel strong. Here we go. I'm doing a toe tap. Oops, I almost forgot that. And then I'm gonna do two toe taps on my other side. And then I am walking out to a plank position. Here I'm pressing the ground away from me, pulling my shoulders away from my ears, and squeezing my glutes. That's my butt muscles if you didn't know that term. I've done a five second hold, so I'm gonna do two reaches on each side, getting that thoracic spine, and a little bit of a side plank, and some shoulder stability. All right, walk it back. We have two more of those. Toe touch, toe touch. And walking it out. Five seconds here. Think, to get those glutes engaged, you don't wanna just squeeze them, you almost wanna tuck the front of your hips up, like you're trying to get them towards your ribs. That'll help you get a neutral spine. We've done about five second holds, so we can do our two reaches on each side, press that ground away from you. Okay, walk it back. Let us do one more of those. Toe touch. I hope you guys are feeling a little bit more mobile now. I know that lots of people are working a lot during this pandemic. I've been talking to them and just getting up and moving for a little bit. We're reaching again, guys, if you haven't started already. Oh, I forgot to start my Apple Watch. I'm gonna do that now. If you haven't already, get your heart rate monitor going. If you have one, feels good to know how hard you're working. Okay, next one, we got our lateral squat. So we're gonna bend one knee and come back up. What's the purpose of a warm up? One reason is to raise that heart rate, but two is we're priming the motions, the mobility that you have. So we're rehearsing movements that we're gonna do, and we're telling your body, oh yeah, I can do that. We are gonna be doing some lateral lunges later. We're doing eight per side, by the way, of these lateral squats. Let's say I'm at about five per side. So now your body knows, yeah, it's okay to do a lateral lunge. I've done a bunch of lateral squats. I've got that range of motion. All right, now on to our glute bridge marches. Just gonna make sure there's no questions. Awesome, we have a good group, guys. This is amazing. So, glute bridge marching. You're gonna do your regular glute bridge. Again, guys, if you can't see me, tap those comments down. In my glute bridge, I'm raising one knee up and then switching. We're doing five per side. Make sure you're pressing through your heel. That'll help you engage your glutes. If you're on your toes more, you get more quads. That's not what we're working on right now. All right. I've done about five per side. And so I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this circuit three of our wide stance caterpillars. If you're just joining guys, we're doing our warm up right now. We're raising our heart rates. Let's see, mine's at 90. Not super high just yet. All right, and then I'm walking out to a plank. We have five seconds here. We're getting strong shoulders, strong abs. I'm thinking about tucking my pelvis, trying to get the front of my hips up towards my ribs. That gets my glutes engaged. And then I'm doing some rotations here strengthening my shoulders and getting a little T-spine mobility and a little bit of side abs too. So, you have two more of those guys. One, two. Five second plank. Keep breathing. I really like 
like this exercise. I really feel my side abs as I rotate here. I don't know about you. Okay, one more of those. This is gonna be the last one you do of this exercise. So do it really well. I don't know about you, but I'm already feeling better. I was feeling a little sluggish this afternoon. My allergies, my seasonal allergies woke me up. I have to really try to apply those things that Alana taught us on Instagram. Okay. All right, so now we are back to our lateral squats. If you feel comfortable, you can start to turn this into a lateral lunge. So I'm gonna do eight lunges to the side. If you wanna to stick to the squats, feel free. We're doing eight on each side. I chose to do the lateral lunges. Um, I just, I feel comfortable doing them. We are gonna do some later, but if you choose again later, you can do lateral squats, which is the one where you're not moving your feet at all. Make sense? Okay, so finish up those eight lateral squats per side, and then we are gonna go into, um, hey Sammy, we're gonna go into the uh, glute bridge marches. Awesome, good group today guys. Yeah, you sweating Sammy, good. So we're in our glute bridge march. If you have done this before, let's try the switches. So I pop a little bit. My butt has to react a little more. That's a thing, right, a reactive butt. I'm making stuff up right now. Not really, it makes sense. All right, we're done our warm up. I wanna do one more thing to get your heart rates up. Mine is just above 100 now, but I wanna make sure we're really ready, ramped up for our strength circuit when it comes. So I wanna get you guys sweating, getting those endorphins coming. We're gonna do a calf smash. So I'm just gonna try and, it's not a butt kick, it's not a high knee, it's somewhere in between. I'm gonna try and smash my calf on the back of my leg. Notice my heel ends up in line with my leg. You can give that a shot right now. Try it on both sides. Just follow along with me right now. I'll do your demos later. Okay, let's go alternating now, ready? Notice how it's just basically right in the middle between a butt kick and a high knee. It also mirrors a lot of the patterns that you need for running. Really good exercise for runners. Because runners shouldn't be kicking their butts up to their, um, their heels up to their butts. Whew. All right, my heart rate's elevated. Yes, good. Yours should be too. Uh, I'm gonna do some high knee skips. Let's all do them together. 10 per side. So it's not a high knee, it's a skip. As you get comfortable, you can progressively become more poppy. Do not hit your head on the ceiling, please. But try to, sorry. Whew. All right, so heart rates are elevated. Your exercise for uh, while I demo this strength circuit is gonna be just some knee hugs. You're gonna grab that knee and pull it up to your chest. Just hold for two seconds. We don't need to do static stretching at this point in our workout, obviously. Um, you're just kind of doing a mix between static and dynamic stretching. So two second holds, high knee hugs. We're gonna start with body weight squats. We're gonna go down for four seconds. One, two, three, four, and then come up fast. You have eight of those, okay? Make sure you count the four slowly because this is a great opportunity for you to work on strength without weight. Being able to control your body's movement through gravity, that works strength, I promise you. So next one is lateral lunge hold. If you prefer, you could do the lateral squats, so that's without the movement, but if you're comfortable, go ahead, let's do some lateral lunges. We're gonna go fast into that lateral lunge, and again, four second hold, just like on the four second down. I am gonna do four on each side. So that was eight body weight squats. You guys are still doing your knee hugs, by the way. Don't do these yet. And four lateral lunges. Both of them have a four second component. The squats are on the way down. The lateral lunges are on the, um, the, the ISO at the end. So if you guys are getting bored with the knee, hug it, knee hugs, you could also do some two leg hops. Imagine you have a jump rope, keep that heart rate up. Our third exercise in the circuit, we have four, 
is a yoga push-up. Let's make sure I'm in the screen here. Again, if you cannot see me, I recommend you just push those comments down. I'm doing a push-up and then I'm going into down dog. I'm gonna do six of those. I'm gonna give an advanced option here. After I go into my down dog, I could also do a pike push-up. If I choose to do that, I can do three and three, three regular push-ups and three pike push-ups. I don't recommend pike push-ups for people with shoulder injuries because we are entering into overhead territory, which is generally an area I avoid for those of you that have shoulder injuries and aren't working with a physical therapist. So exercise four. Hey Noah and Alice, <laughs> we're gonna do a hollow hold. So a hollow hold, you basically make yourself into a banana like so, my feet are off the ground, my legs are off the ground, my chest is off the ground, or my upper back, I should say, and I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds. So, you can finish your hops or your knee hugs, whatever you've been doing while I exercised and demoed for you. Let's get started with those eight body weight squats, four seconds on the way down, and then we'll go into our lateral lunges. We're getting our legs stronger today. One, two, three, four, up. Tip, guys, you wanna make sure your heels are on the ground for this exercise. So if you can't keep your heels on the ground, go a little wider. That's my third one. Also, you wanna make sure your knees stay tracking over your toes and they're not collapsing in. So those are the things to pay attention to. I'm on my fifth of eight body weight squats. We're emphasizing the down part. We're controlling our body through gravity. I've got two more. If you're ahead of me, get, grab some water, no big deal. Cool. All right, next one is that lateral lunge or lateral squat. Lateral squat, you don't move your feet, you just shift your weight. So we're going fast into that lateral squat and then we're holding for one, two, three, four. We're doing four of these on each side. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. One, two, three, four, up. Other side now. One, two, three, four, up. Notice my toes are pointing straight forward. My knees again are not collapsing. I'm on my third, on my second side, you're doing four with a four second hold here. Okay, so now we're on to push-ups. At the end of the push-up, you go into down dog. If you are comfortable doing this, your shoulders are not injured, you can swap out three of your push-ups for pipe push-ups. Let me demonstrate one more time. This is a regular yoga push-up. We go into down dog and we come up. I'm also offering the option of down dog, pipe push-up, then back to regular push-ups. You have six push-ups or three push-ups mixed in with three uh, pike push-ups. All right, let's do this, guys. If you're not following along or you have any questions, feel free to just uh, send a little message there. Sometimes I go too quickly. I'm gonna do the, push, the pike push-up variation because I like them. And it's important to do some kind of vertical motions when we can. see how everyone's doing. Nice, we have a good group, guys. Hey, Adam. Hey, Jorge. Okay, let's, oh, Hans is here. Nice. Um, we are gonna go into a hollow hold now, guys. So make a banana out of your body. Your lower back should be on the ground. Maybe a little bit of your butt, but the rest of you, you're holding up. We're doing this for 30 seconds. I'm gonna count it. I'm shaking. This is a really good ab exercise. It really targets those abs. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. I think we have about 15 seconds left, guys. Three, two, one. Whew, okay. We are going through that circuit one more time. Let's do this. We have four seconds down on our body weight squats. One, two, three, four, and back up. Two, two, three, four. 
Heels are on the ground. Trying to get those hips down to knee level. Seven here. Seven, two, three, four. Up and one more. Eight, two, three, four. Woo. All right, I'm feeling the legs a little bit. Hope you guys are too. And we're into our lateral lunges with a hold. One, two, three, four, up. Two, two, three, four, up. Three, two, three, four, up. And four, two, three, four, up. That eccentric strength that we did earlier, that's the down part, can also be targeted here if we stop quickly. Putting on the brakes is another version of eccentric strength, super applicable to athletes who have to change direction, but also anything you do in your regular life. If you're walking down the street and you trip a little bit, being able to put on the brakes quickly is gonna protect your knee, your ankle, your hip, whatever, or you just won't fall. So that's what we work on those things. We are on push-ups. Remember you have regular push-ups for six, or you can mix in a pike push-up. Okay, make sure your body is like a plank of wood. Imagine this is a moving plank. You're just moving that plank down towards the ground and then you're moving it away from the ground and into down dog. I am choosing to do the pike push-up variation. You do not have to. If you want to just do six push-ups, that's great. That's awesome. I recommend that those of you with shoulder injuries do not choose the pike push-up variation. All right. Whew. Arms are feeling good. We are going right into hollow holds, guys, for 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. So my lower back's on the ground here. My body is a banana. <laughs> my arms are overhead. My upper back is off the ground. My butt's off the ground and all of my legs. Whew. Come on, timer. What you got? Oh no. If you can multitask and do a banana, even better. 10 more seconds. Whew. My abs are burning. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. We are nearing the end, guys. If you've been following along, thank you so much. You are not done. Please stick with us. This is good for you. You will feel better from exercising. You have me here giving my heart to you, trying to get you to move and feel better. <sighs> right now, I'm going to give you your conditioning circuit. Get some water while I demonstrate it. It won't be too complicated, but it will. you will feel it. So we have 30 jumping jacks. I think everyone knows what a jumping jack looks like. If again, you had a shoulder problem and you can limit the range of motion there. <sighs> then, let's see what's my heart rate. Oh, my heart rate's not that high. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do a split squat hold. So I'm gonna start in half kneeling. Again, if you can't see me, I recommend you push those comments down, just tap the screen. From my, split, my half kneeling, I'm gonna press up. My knee will be an inch off the ground and I have to hold this here for 20 seconds. Once I've done 20 on one side, I'll do 20 on the other. Starting in half kneeling, pressing through my front foot, and holding my knee off the ground for 20 seconds. Your third exercise is a regular forearm plank, but we're gonna do it for 60 seconds. Yup, 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 it hurts. Okay, so just things to think about in the forearm plank, press the ground away from you, press your chest and your throat away from the ground, shoulders away from your ears, and you're squeezing those glutes. Everybody ready for our conditioning circuit? We're gonna do it two times. We're gonna get moving, we're gonna try not to stop. Ready, set, and go. One. Five, we're going all the way to 30. 10. 15, halfway done. 20. 25. Sweet, split squat hold, into half kneeling. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm in half kneeling, I'm putting my weight on my front foot, pushing through that front foot, particularly my heel, but keeping that whole front foot on the ground. I have 20 seconds here. If you're not there yet, come on, join me. Squeeze your back glute too. 
Get a little stretch in the front of your hip, maybe. Eight more seconds, guys. You got this. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Get into half kneeling on the other side. Ready? Press through your front foot. Press that back knee off the ground. We have 20 seconds here. That's my heart rate at 135. Not bad. Okay, we're nearing halfway on this point. Okay, we're at halfway on this leg. If you're not feeling this, I don't know what you're doing because I'm feeling this. And in the on guard position in fencing, we're always holding this, which if you work here earlier is the thing that I do. So last one, we're all going into a four hour plank. Let's go guys. Don't hate me. You're gonna, you're gonna thank me. Future you was thanking you for the work you're putting in right now. Squeeze your glutes, press your chest away from the ground. Keep breathing. Yeah, 60 second planks are hard. Do you hear about that guy that did it for like eight hours? I could never do that. I mean, maybe if I had a lot of time on my hands, like, like I don't know, pandemic or something. Ooh. Okay. Yep, this is tiring. Keep breathing, guys. Your core is going to feel good. Okay. We have about 20 seconds left. I know. Ten more seconds, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, baby, that was tiring. Get up, we're doing jumping jacks again. Go. Five, we're doing 30. It's the last time you have to do jumping jacks for the day. Probably this week, unless you wanna do it again. That was 10. 15, halfway done. This is so good to get the blood flowing. That's 20. Get your joints moving. Get some blood flow to those joints and muscles, getting them stronger. I lost track. I think that was 30. Down into the split squat. I'm going to start with my other leg. Maybe not a good move, but let's try it. Ready? And go. 20 seconds here. So these ISO holds are also super good for your strength. It also just helps you practice. So having done this, I'm gonna be stronger for my split squats later on. And good, switch sides, guys. This is our last split squat hold of the day. Ready, and go, 20 seconds. Keep breathing. Tell your body you can handle this. I can handle this. This is good for me. Those are the things that I repeat when I'm fencing and it's stressful. You can handle this, Kelly. Five more seconds here. Three, two, one. Whew. Okay. All right, guys. So good to see you all here. Let us get into a plank now. We have a 60 second plank. This is the last bit of work for today. Ready, set and go. Yeah, 60 second planks are hard. Whew. In the beginning, you're like, yeah, it's okay. And you're like, oh, I'm only halfway done. Ooh, squeezing my glutes, squeeze my glutes. Push my chest away from the ground. Oh, baby. I'm feeling it in my legs too, actually, right now. I think it's the split squats and the jumping jacks. I hope you feel that too. All right, guys, we are almost done. 20 more seconds. I know, I know it's hard right now, but future you is thanking you, giving you a pat on the back, a high five. Uh, I think future you would do that, but maybe not without a glove. Five more seconds. Whew. Okay, so. Last thing I want you guys to do, we're just gonna chill out now. Bring your butt to your heels. We're gonna go into child's pose. Five breaths here. It's important to do this at the end of a workout to make sure that you're not leaving in that fight or flight mode. That's what we are in, in a workout, is fight or flight. But if you never leave that, you don't go into that rest or digest portion of your uh, nervous system. Why is that important? You don't, if you're not digesting and things like that. You're gonna elevate your cortisol levels. So 
So we have to do some child's pose, breathing after the workout, or maybe this is a good time for a static stretch. Let's do a pigeon stretch here. That's one of my favorites. The way that I do it, I straighten my, back, my right leg here, I tuck it behind my left heel, and then I drop my right elbow to the ground. That stretches my right hip. I'm gonna walk you through that again. Straighten one leg right here, tucking it behind my left, dropping right, my right elbow to the ground. So I feel that on the outside of my left hip. And again, breathe, long exhales. Pause after you exhale. And just let the air come in. Don't suck in the air. We're gradually letting that heart rate come down. Let's go to the other side. Straighten your left leg. Tuck it behind your right heel. Drop your left elbow to the ground. So, I'm really glad you all joined me today. I had a really good time, guys. You can stay in the stretch if you're enjoying it. These workouts are designed to make you feel better, to get the blood pumping, to incre increase your endorphins, to get your muscles stronger, more resilient, ready for your everyday activities, or your skiing, or your golf, whenever that comes up. Um, just to review what we worked on today, we worked on mobility in the beginning, and a little bit of core strength. Um, then we went into, uh, we got your heart rates up to continue working on your fitness. We did some upper, lower, and core strengthening. And then we did some more conditioning at the end to get that blood pumping, to get your heart rates up so you're burning a little extra calories. By doing an interval just like that, you're going to be burning more calories throughout the day. But make sure that those are good calories that you're putting in your body. You want to have lean proteins. You want to have vegetables. You want to have high quality carbs. What does that mean? That means like um, slow digesting carbs like grains. Um, potatoes are also good, like sweet potatoes in particular. Make sure you get some vegetables. We have a great nutritionist on staff too, um, I believe, <laughs> um, that would love to help you guys out with that. Please, if you like this workout or you wanna do one that's more individualized, reach out to us. Drive Clubs has a lot of great trainers. Um, I have worked out with every single one of them and loved every single workout I've done with them. Contact kim.nunez at driveclubs.com. We will give you motivation. We will give you accountability. We will give you structure. Those things are so invaluable all the time, but particularly now, we do not know when this is gonna be over and I wanna keep you guys moving and healthy. It was so good to have you guys here. Thank you so much. Thomas, hey, um, yeah, a little tip. Um, you want to just work on tempos and reps. Um, it is going to be uh, challenging um, without weights to build strength, um, but more time under tension is going to make a difference. So how do you do that? You increase um, the amount of time in the eccentric part. That's the, the down part. And um, you also increase reps. So for example, I would only do five to eight squats if I was doing it with a, with a weight. Now I'm gonna do uh, 10 to 20, but I can also shorten the number of reps like we did today to eight and increase the time under tension by doing four second eccentrics. Super important for adding strength and not a bad time to work on that kind of thing when you don't have weights. But if you wanna add weight, I recommend using like, you know those one gallon, uh, in Canada we call them four liters, <laughs> uh, jugs of milk or water. That's eight pounds right there. So that's, that's better than nothing. You can also change the placement. So for example, I'm gonna grab my weight right now. Because that was a really awesome question, Thomas. I appreciate you asking it. So regular weight, this is my jug of water that I use for my eight pound exercises. Um, so goblet position, really good for adding arm strength and core. Add another um, dimension to it. I could do it in the waiter position. So that's here, like this my elbow in front of my shoulder, my hand over my elbow. I could do it with two of them, or I could do it with one, which will add a rotational component, so I have to control rotation. Um, so uh, that's one option for adding weight. You could also put water bottles or um, like books in a backpack and hold that in the goblet position or wrap it in front of you, something like that. So um, those are really good ways to add strength you're welcome, Thomas. I hope you appreciate that, and I hope you are able to use it. Those are great ways to add strength to your workout. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish there. 
so happy that so many of you were able to make it. It was really good to see your names popping up if I can't see your faces. Um, just a reminder, I'm Kelly Ryan from Drive Clubs and I'm looking forward to giving you a virtual session if you'd like one or you can work with one of my coworkers. We will even offer you guys a free intro one. Um, it's on us and we just wanna get you guys moving and working on your mental health through moving your body. All right, bye now.